As John F. Kennedy said, there are risks and costs to a program of action, but they are far less than the long range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. There's just something about the status quo that is literally intoxicating. You don't want to move. You don't want to put things at risk. You want to keep things as they are. And I get it. Change is scary. Change may be one of the single most paralyzing elements that we as humans face. That in your space, in that little area that you've carved out for yourself, it may be small and it may keep you less than you could be. But God damn it, does it feel good because it's safe because you know your enemies, you know where everything is at, you know all the things that you need to know to feel comfortable. But in that comfort is a world that shrinks around you, is a world that literally is forcing you to confine yourself to the size of that box. It's making you only as big as the space that you've allowed yourself. So whatever change you refuse to embrace, not only does it freeze you in time, but it stunts your growth. And if you want to become something, that is literally the act of changing. It is literally the act of rebirth, of making yourself something new. But in that, you must face the terror of change. You must face that you may fail. You must face that you may embarrass yourself. You have to face that in the unknown could be the worst. But unless you're able to do that, You'll never get to taste the vastness of living outside the box that merely having a life that isn't confined is in and of itself far more interesting and beautiful than anything could ever be when it is locked in one place. When you have a box that has no windows, your world can be nothing but a wall. But when you have a window, when you have a door, that becomes an entryway into something completely new. And as Pablo Picasso said, action is the fundamental key to all success. So if you want to succeed, if you want something more for your life, you have to be willing to walk through that door. And if you're in a box that has no door, then you've got to be willing to kick one open. You've got to be willing to claw through feet of concrete if that's what it takes to get on the other side. But you've got to be willing to push yourself out of that comfort zone to find out what could be, to take control of your destiny and realize the fundamental human truth. Only you control what you can be. And if you want to escape, the one thing you need is belief. And as Phil Knight said, belief is irresistible. Once you believe that you can act in accordance with something that will actually help move you forward, once you believe to the core of your being that there is no one, no one, better suited to building the life of your dreams than you, then suddenly safety becomes the least safe thing that you could do. Suddenly being in a space that is so narrowly defined is the only thing that's going to choke the life out of you. So the only real risk is not to have faith in yourself. The only real risk is to stay put. The only real risk is to play it safe. So my friends, find that belief in yourself. Take that risk. Act, move, do something, define a new life, build a new you. That's the key to success.